This is the lecture for the first reading, uh, Must One Obey One's Conscience by Elizabeth Anscombe. Uh, so there's kind of only three topics in this lecture, and uh, two of them are strange topics. So the first topic is what's different about this lecture. So usually these lectures for the readings are going to be about things that you want to know before you do uh, the reading. But there's really nothing you need to know before you do this reading, so uh, this lecture is different. What's different about the reading quiz? Uh, as you'll notice when you take the reading quiz, which is your first reading quiz, um, there's not a lot going on there. Uh, some of the questions are not even questions, really. And the reason for that is that the purpose of the reading quizzes is to sort of guide you to important parts of the reading to help you understand parts of the reading that you might have trouble understanding to help you focus on uh, key terms or key ideas. And you don't need a lot of that for this reading. This is a short reading, so you can just focus on all of it, and all of it is important. Uh, and there aren't a lot of key ideas to clarify. There are a few, so those are in the reading quiz. Um, but So just keep that in mind. This is a bit of a strange introduction to the course because the lecture and the reading quiz are different. So those are out of the way. Now for the main topic in this lecture, uh, which is, look, let's just start uh, reading this article. So must one obey one's conscience? If you do what you are convinced is wrong, though it is in truth not wrong, are you doing wrong? Or if you decide not to do something which you believe is no obligation for you to do, though in fact it is what you ought to do, are you acting wrongly? Now, if you're a normal person and you read that at the speed that I read it, probably you said something like, well, I, I, I guess I sort of get the general sense of what she's talking about, but honestly, the word wrong and stuff, like it just showed up too many times. Uh, it's too complicated. She's writing in this very complex style. I basically just have no idea what those two sentences said. The, basically, the only way to understand what those two sentences say is to read that very, very slowly, uh, go word by word effectively, read it multiple times, and think really hard about what is she saying in these two sentences. So try to figure out what are the ideas that she's talking about. So if she starts off saying, if you do what you are convinced is wrong, though it is in truth not wrong, are you doing wrong? And so to figure that out, what you want in your head is, well, figure out what it means to do something you're convinced is wrong. So maybe come up with some examples of that in your head. Figure out what it would mean for it in truth not to be wrong. So come up with some examples of that in your head. Put the two together. So come up with examples where you do something you're convinced is wrong, though it's in truth not wrong. So maybe come up with some of those in your head. And then she asks, are you doing wrong? So then figure out what is that question in light of these sort of examples. And so this is going to take a while. And if you read the how to read, or if you watch the how to read philosophy uh, video on uh, Canvas, you'll sort of get the sense that you're going to have to read this sort of stuff slowly and carefully. And the rest of the article is like that. So uh, these two sentences were hard to understand and the rest of the article is going to be like that. So we're starting off with this article for lots of reasons, but one is that it's going to get us in the mindset of having to read very closely and carefully and slowly. Um, another thing is that these are basically notes for a lecture that she was going to give, uh, which is also basically uh, the Aristotle text that we're reading. The Aristotle text is a series of very long lecture notes for a class that he taught. Uh, so it's also going to get us in the style of reading somebody's notes to themselves. Um, so uh, that's all you need to know, really, about this article before you jump in. So I'll see you in class.